to Wayne. Mad Liberator. Death Operator. What is going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We are here. The Wire Season 1, Episode 3. Last on with the boys Carver and and Prisb whatever the fuck his name is. Herc. You know, they got their shit rocked. And they got in a bunch of big trouble, so we'll see if they get out of that. Uh, you know, everything with, with Avon and D'Angelo. D'Angelo having to talk to, uh, to the boys, Bunk and McNulty. That was a good scene. I'm excited to see what happens. Cedric, he's got to deal with a lot. Uh, a lot going on. Uh, been enjoying the show, though. First two episodes really good. I'm excited to see where it progresses, the character progression. Uh, apparently, this is pretty much based off of real stuff, kind of. And uh, so that'll be interesting to look more into that as well. Um, let's get into The Wire, Season 1, Episode 3. In three, two, Wayne. Yo, shit is late. Yeah, they still violin up. Usually come off the train street ready, but this time they got a vial. Hey, you don't got any tussles, man? Yeah, later. Later. You got any tussles, man? Nigga, it ain't even nine o'clock and you feeding on it. Get the fuck out of here, man. Damn. Yo, why you act like that, yo? So you just gonna take his money all day and treat him like a dog? How am I supposed to treat him? I don't know. But you ain't got a pump on like that. Pump this soap. You goddamn drug addict. And mean, you a goddamn drug dealer. So? So what? Oh, what? The customer's always right? <laughs> yo, we in the projects. The customer be fucked up. Can't give these niggas shits, man. Why not? Why can't you? Shit, anything else in the world gets sold without people taking advantage, scamming, lying, doing each other dirty. I gotta be that way with this. I love that. That was a great intro. That was a fire-ass intro. The king stay the king, D'Angelo. What are we facing from the right? Three witnesses statements. All of them saying the officer's assault on the youth was unprovoked. You know how that goes, Commissioner. I think our official stance has to be he did nothing wrong out there. A 14-year-old is half blind. Uh, and two of ours were injured as well. Goddamn right. They were fucking shooting at us out there. Bobby, what do you think? Keep him off the streets until it clears the courthouse. Okay, then. You're waiting on the grand jury. It's a good man that's willing to take one for the company. Hell with the company. I'm defending my own people here. That's all. What Major Valchek means to say is that he's grateful that you extended your support on behalf of Officer Presbaluski. Fuck up that he is. He should be off the street. What can I say? The kid needs a, a little guidance, a little supervision. <laughs> Stan here thought that if he got a young officer back on the street where well, he might start over. A new unit, a uh, new lieutenant. You know, that might bring him around. I understand he messed up here. I understand that. Which is why I'm saying to you, I owe you for walking him through this grand jury thing. And to compensate, Southeastern is sending you two new unmarked units and a surveillance van. Plus, you need manpower while these guys are busy with this IID thing? All you do is ask. Lieutenant. So I got suction with you, Velchik? That's what I'm saying. Well, deputy. Always a pleasure. A couple felony warrants, a little dope on the table. That's all we need here. Under no circumstances is it accurate to suggest that this particular homicide was the result of the... Got a job for you guys to try to run down. What is it? Need a photo of this guy Barksdale. Need to know what he looks like. So I'm gonna have a B of I. Well, you see, that's the problem, guys. See, Barstow's never been arrested as an adult. So we don't really have a B of I photo. His juvenile record, he had expunged. There's no photo there either. Then you're fucked. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are. But uh, seeing as we all came into work today, I thought, what the hell, let's try something different. So, we know from his mother's social service record that Barksdale grew up in Franklin Terrace, right? Well, it occurred to me, being vaguely familiar with the high-rises of West Baltimore, that the housing project began to take photos of every registered resident as a security measure. Am I correct, Detective Craigs? Yeah. Why don't you fucking do it yourself? <laughs> For sure, if you don't mind sitting at my desk reviewing homicide folders, taking meticulous notes, trying to run down a few new leads, it's boring, painstaking work, but if you don't want to travel to the housing department, department I'll switch with you. Fuck it, Patrick. Let's take a ride. These guys don't want to do shit. Yo, what was that? Hmm? Castle can't move like that. Yo, Castle move up and down and sideways like. Nah, we ain't playing that. Man, look at the boy playing checkers. <laughs> checkers? Yeah, checkers. <laughs> Yo, why y'all playing checkers on the chest set? Yo, why you give a shit? <laughs> Man, we ain't got no checkers. Yeah, but yo, chess is a better game, yo. So? <laughs> nah, hold up, hold up. Y'all don't know how to play chess. This the king pen, all right? And he the man. You get the other dude's king, you got the game. And he trying to get your king, too, so you got protected. Now, the king, he move one space any direction he damn choose, because he's the king. Like this, 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 all right? But he ain't got no hustle. But the rest of these motherfuckers on the team, they got his back. And they run so deep, he really ain't got to do shit. I like your uncle. Yeah, like my uncle. You see this? It's the queen. She's smart, she fierce. She move any way she want, as far as she want. And she is the go-get-shit-done piece. Remind me of Stringer. <laughs> and this over here is the castle. It's like the stash. You move like this, and like this. Dog, no, stash don't move, man. Come on, yo, think. How many times we moved the stash house this week? Right? And every time we move the stash, we gotta move a little muscle with it, right? To protect it. Sure. Sure, we right. All right. What about them little bald-headed bitches right there? All right, these right here, these are the pawns. They like the soldiers. They move like this, one space forward only, except when they fight. And it's like, or like this. They like the front lines. They be out in the field. So how do you get to be the king? It ain't like that. See, the king stay the king, all right? Everything stay who he is, except for the pawns. Now, for pawn, they get all the way down. Pawns, man, in the game, they get capped quick. They be out the game early. Unless they some smart-ass pawns. God, that was a great scene. That was a phenomenal scene. Novice. Explaining both chess and the game, you know, the trap. He likes to work out and used to box golden gloves when he was young. Been working on this guy for two weeks and the truth is we don't know. What does he know? How do you that? I don't know. I, uh... I think I got that from a DEA file. Uh, from a CI. Who uh, claimed to know him way back when. So you write everything down? Yeah. Everything. A few questions I want to ask you, Mac. Keep your hand moving. Work to the body, some man. So who's your target? Barksdale. Who? Avon Barksdale. Yeah, you see that? Oh, yeah. There from the end. That's the stash. Some real raggedy ass shit here, boy. Very sloppy. Hmm. OK. How old are you kids? I don't think we've seen them yet, those guys. I work with one other female police officer who's worth a damn. Only one. A lesbian. Yeah. In the beginning, you're in your radio car. Alone. 
Work in your post. Most women aren't getting out that car. Right. Not without side partners showing up. I don't remember a day we ever got this much from the courtyard. Money check day. You're doing good out there, D. Well, we'll be doing even better when we get that new package. <laughs> new package, same as old, man. Say what? Ain't no new package. Just gonna put that same shit out in a different color jail cap is all. Might spike that shit with some propane. Propane, some caffeine. caffeine. Shit is weak. We gonna sell twice as much. You know why? Because a fiend, we gonna chase that shit no matter what. It's crazy, you know? We do worse, and we get paid more. The government do better, and it don't mean no never mind. This shit right here, D, it's forever. These guys change stash houses every other day. Look, the man upstairs wants to see a circus. A couple of days from now, I gotta show him three rings. Christ. I'm sorry. We gotta jump. On very little knowledge right now. Very little info. They're just gonna go in there and pretty much do nothing. We'll also need a supervisor who wants you to clone a suspect's pager, knowing that it might lead to... Who knows what else? Pen registers, wiretaps. Daniels will come around. <laughs> Daniels will have your ass. Thanks. That's it? What? No. No. Okay. I hear you. Uh. Uh, 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 Their moans are in sync. Get the fuck in here. Get your ass down. Sit your stupid ass down. Get the fuck down. Shit, stay there, bitch. Get the, get the fuck down, motherfucker. Hey, yo, where that? Move, go ahead. Ain't nothing here, yo. Fucking hell. Where that, man? Uh. G packs. That's full. Just two. Yo, oh my, come on. Hey, what the? I'm not going. You're insubordinate? I'm not jumping out on something I believe is going to harm the case. You want to write me up on that? You can't. You think I want this? I got the deputy ops on my ass for this shit. Now I got you showing me up in front of the whole damn detail. I don't mean to show anybody up. Get your vest on. No. I got police work to do. Motherfucker, if you felt this way, why didn't you call in sick? I'm not sick. Yeah, you are. Hey, what are you even doing shit? Come on, man. wants to know if she can take her cameras through some of the places we made it. She says whatever we got, she'll put on the bill. <laughs> whatever we got? Drugs, weapons. We ain't got shit. They don't want to take it to internal affairs because that office leaks like a sieve. Yeah, plus the fact they couldn't handle a case if their life depended on it. Yeah, that too. You looked at Daniel specifically? Yeah, we did a two more dash this investigation. That man's got a couple hundred thousand more in liquid assets than any police lieutenant should ever have. Maybe he goes to Atlantic City. Seriously? He says, thank you, we'll take it from here. So we backed away, waited for something to happen, and waited. And that was a year ago? Maybe more. And that fucker's still a supervisor for narcotics. Episode three. Great episode. A lot of great scenes. The the scene that stands out to me the most. I mean, it wasn't like the deepest scene of all time. It was in terms of metaphors. It was fairly just on the nose. Um, 
but yeah, the chess scene metaphorically for the for 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 the game of chess and for the game that they're playing in now, running the trap, you know. It is what it is, and I mean, king stays. Pawn soldiers protect the product and the king. The queen gets shit done. You know, a lot of met metaphors in terms of society and chess and running the trap. I love the scene with the, you know, he's like, we, we need the new package. And the new package is just same old shit. Procaine and caffeine, but other than that, same product. Heroin's heroin. It's going to be bought and sold. And we do bad, we make more. Even within capitalism itself like that, too. it's The product gets worse and worse and worse. And it still sells a lot. I mean, you even look at the movie and Hollywood industry and... You know, the movies that get released now. Some are obviously... There's, there's still great, great films, but... A lot of it, especially the mainstream, big Hollywood movies, a lot of them seem just manufactured and dumped out quick and horribly compared to before, especially some Marvel stuff. And Even Star Wars, I mean... I love Star Wars, so I'm not going to like hate on it, but I understand the, the criticisms like that. Um... And I love, you know, the parallels between D'Angelo and McNulty, you know, not wanting to use force, use violence for justice or just to do what they need to do. They need Avon. And McNulty's trying to do it without violence. D'Angelo's trying to run his, his game without violence or just being pricks in general. That was a good scene. Like, quit treating them like dogs. Quit treating them like dogs. I love it. I love it. It's good shit. Um, and then, even parallels between the cops beating the kid. Kid. Uh, I don't remember his name, really, but yet, at least, but beating him up for punching the cop. I get it. He punched a cop, but Jesus Christ. You literally just like to gang, looked like you're just ganging up on a kid now. That's literally what it looks like. Sure, he punched the cop. The cop was going to be fine. You know, the cop was going to be all right. And you parallel that between the cops doing that and, you know, what they did to the to to Bubs's friend, which I love Bubs. Bubs is, Bubbles, he's great. I love him. He's awesome. He's he's a great character. Um Yeah man. The hats. I love that with the first scene. Um it was good shit. Uh oh uh, fuck. Omar, we met we met Omar. Kinda got a glimpse of him earlier. He seemed very, he plans his shit out, you know, he, he gets a lot of details, he's very methodical in his approach of what he's doing, and I'm excited to see more of him, you know, I'm excited to see what he does at the, another drug dealer, and he's trying to make his way up in the gang, or has he been around for a while, who knows, who knows, uh, really enjoyed that though, shot the dude's fucking knee off practically good lord and obviously with you know daniels and and uh the fuck is his name daniels and burrell you know there's something going on there there's something daniel's been a there's a little he's just wanted to get in get out you know he didn't want any space uh, 
his face involved much. There's something going on there. Um, I love uh, Kima going, like, are the deputy ops stupid? And then, no, they're crooked, is what McNulty said. And obviously at the end there, getting money in different ways that they don't know where he got his money. So there's an interesting factor within all that. Very interesting. I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, shit's getting interesting. Like I said, Omar met him. Them busting into the projects, into the low rises. Pretty much no information. They go there and there's nothing. There's nothing. So what a shocker. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm enjoying the show. This is another great episode. Of the I'm in. I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I am. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. For daily videos every single day, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram. All the social media is down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video. Goodbye!